Welcome to the Step 1 of your study guide, and in this lesson, we learn about lipoprotein functions, a beta lipoproteinemia, and familial dyslipidemias. The function of lipoproteins are to transport cholesterol and triglycerides. Cholesterol is used in membrane integrity, bile acid synthesis, steroid synthesis, and vitamin D synthesis. Synthesized and secreted by the intestinal epithelial cells after a meal, Chylomicrons transport triglycerides from the diet to the tissues. The remnant chylomicrons transport the remaining cholesterol to the liver. Very low density lipoproteins transport triglycerides from the liver to the tissue. Intermediate density lipoproteins is the degraded very low density lipoprotein that transports triglycerides and cholesterol to the liver. Liver modification by hepatic lipase creates low-density lipoproteins that transport cholesterol from the liver to the tissues. They are uptaken by receptor-mediated endocytosis. High-density lipoproteins transport cholesterol from the tissues to the liver and also acts as a storage for APOC and E used by chylomicrons and very low-density lipoproteins. A beta-lipoproteinemia is caused by a mutation of the MTP gene. This results in a defective ApoB100 and ApoB48, which results in deficiency of chylomicrons, very low-density lipoproteins, and low-density lipoproteins. In infants, this causes fat malabsorption, steatorrhea, or lipids in the stool, and a failure to thrive. Later in life, this disease presents with retinitis, pigmentosa, a vitamin E deficiency causing spinocerebellar degeneration, further resulting in progressive ataxia, and acanthocytosis. Inspection of the intestines will show lipid lot and enterocytes. The treatment is avoiding long-chain fatty acids and supplementation with oral vitamin E. Now let's go over the four types of familial dyslipidemias. Type 1 hyperchylomicronemia is autosomal recessive and caused by either lipoprotein lipase or APOC2 deficiency. Both are involved in the uptake of chylomicrons into the tissues. The result is an increased blood levels of chylomicrons and their constituents, triglycerides, and cholesterol. This results in pancreatitis, hepatosplenomegaly, eruptive and pruritic xanthomas, a creamy layer in the supernatant, and no increase of atherosclerosis. Type 2 familial hypercholesterolinemia is autosomal dominant. Type 2A is caused by absent or defective LDL receptors resulting in increased blood levels of low-density lipoproteins and cholesterol. 2B is caused by defective ApoB100, which affects very low-density lipoproteins as well, and thus there are increased levels of low-density lipoproteins, cholesterol, and very low-density lipoproteins in the blood. Heterozygotes have cholesterol levels of about 300 mg per deciliter. Homozygotes have cholesterol greater than 700 mg per deciliter. This causes accelerated atherosclerosis, increasing the risk of a myocardial infarction before the age of 20. Tendon xanthoma of the Achilles and corneal arcus also occur. Type 3 dysbetalipoproteinemia is autosomal recessive caused by defective APOE. Chylomicron and very low-density lipoprotein uptake cannot occur and thus build up in the blood. Premature atherosclerosis, tuberoeruptive, and palmar xanthomas occur. Type 4 hypertriglyceridemia is autosomal dominant and is caused when the liver overproduces very low-density lipoproteins. Very low-density lipoproteins and triglycerides build up in the blood with triglyceride levels greater than 1,000 mg per deciliter, causing acute pancreatitis. That's all for this lesson, Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.